The Glenn Plaid Suit, a poem by Mark Tulin. When I was 13, I bought a suit that promised magical powers. It would help me transform into a man, no longer a boy chick with knobby knees, my father said. My father took me to see the Wizard of Suits on South Street, a store of many colors and fabrics. The wizard spoke softly in a South Philly accent. I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. My father agreed, and the wizard spun a powerful noble suit into a double-breasted Glen plaid. In return, my father gave the wizard a satchel of silver and one of my least favorite siblings. The wizard promised that if I wear the suit, I could possess the world in my hands. In my heart, I didn't believe him. I'd much rather have a three-quarter length jacket in soft black leather. When the special day arrived, I wore my magical suit. It felt heavy and hung loosely off my feeble body. The sleeves were too long, the pants were baggy. The necktie kept cutting off my oxygen supply. I yearned to be in cut-off jeans, a loose-fitting t-shirt, sneakers, or a pair of sandals instead of quarter van wingtips. I wished I had a Louisville slugger instead of a holy book in my hands. I wished I wore a baseball hat instead of a skull cap on my head. But I read the few lines of Hebrew, did what the rabbi said, and collected my mitzvah gelt in sealed envelopes from all my smiling relatives. It was the only time I wore that magical suit. A cumbersome suit of armor. It still hangs on a wire hanger in my mother's dusty closet.